Hey guys, it's Megan. Just going to do a quick video update. Um, just some Google stuff and then a small stash haul. Um, I'll start with the boring Google stuff. As many of you know, Google has changed. Um, the comments have changed and things like that. Um, I do have a Google Plus page and um, somehow I realized in all this trying to learn things about the new Google Plus page, I realized that somehow I had two different um, accounts through Google through the same email. Um, I'm not sure how that happens. Some of you may know more about YouTube and know how that happens. Um, apparently it's like I had two channels even though the other channel wasn't created. It was kind of pending creation. Um, I realized how to or learned how to separate it. It was a tiny tiny little link and um, I finally found it. I've been having to switch back and forth like every time I sign into YouTube anywhere it makes me choose which account. I never can figure out why. I had the two accounts, but now I've fixed that issue. Um, and through that, I also learned that you can change your Google Plus page name, and it'll also change your username on YouTube. The Maymay0410 was always kind of a default. It just, YouTube made it that way, and so I just left it there. Um, I didn't want my real name on the page um, because I just didn't. But I've realized now that through the Google Plus page, I can change my username there and it will change my username on YouTube as well. And I will be changing that probably with this video upload. I think it's going to be Stitching May. Um, but my URL will remain the MayMay0410. But you will see my comments and my videos being uploaded as Stitching May instead of MayMay0410. Um, I never liked the numbers. It's a mouthful to try to say. And it just, it, I don't know. I just like the stitching may better. And I thought it may be easier to remember. I know um, M and E Mama had issues remembering the, all the numbers after my name. That was never intended to be, my, to be my username. It just kind of happened that way. So now that I can change it and fix it, I will. So if you see me commenting on your comments or see videos uploading under stitching may, it is me. So just, you know, know that. Um, Another change of the glasses. These are not reading glasses like I've had in some of my other videos, like on my head and stuff, but they are actual prescription glasses. They are my first set of truly corrective lenses. Um, my last set were just reading glasses, but they were a progressive lens because um, I'm a nurse and we go from looking at monitors to looking at charts to looking at patients, and the doctor didn't want me to have to, you know, raise and lower the glasses. Um, they didn't help my vision at all. Um, and I didn't go back to the, the, the eye doctor for many years. Um, I don't know I'm getting on this big tangent, but I will. Um, I finally made an appointment after my husband complained about me squinting and complaining of headaches and said, you know, essentially do something about it. Go to the eye doctor and see what they say. Um, he was a little nicer than that, though. <laughs> but um, I went, and apparently I have astigmatism in both eyes, um, worse in my right than my left, and they gave me corrective lenses. I have been stepping over shadows and everything since then. Um, they dilated my pupils. Let me tell you, I cannot stand that experience at all. And this doctor, I don't know if he did it more so or if he used a longer lasting solution, but I was so sick to my stomach. I told my husband that I felt like a blind vampire because every glare I was squinting and you know, blocking my face and I couldn't see anything like further than like, you know, right hands reach if it was closer than hands reach it was just a blur um i was actually walking through a store and i almost ran into somebody and as they walked by they were like dude did you see her eyes i was like great everybody's gonna think i'm like you know got some kind of you know, drug habit or something because my pupils are so dilated but i now I remember i told the story um i on the way to the doctor's appointment we passed by this frame frame shop that I knew was there, and I knew they sold some needlework stuff, but I had been told it was only knitting stuff. But the way we went into the eye notcher, I saw like a billboard or at the side of the store, and it said they had cross stitching supplies. We had planned to stop after the appointment, but like I said, the doctor decided to dilate my eyes, and I couldn't see anything, you know, in front of my face, so there was no point in me <laughs> going to the store. But when I went to pick up my glasses. I did stop in and I had my son with me and I thought, okay, this is probably not the best idea. I'll stop in and see if they have cross stitch floss, which is what I stopped for, my one floss. And um, he can always have my excuse to leave if it's not a great store. So we walk in and first of all, it was, they had all kind of beautiful framing stuff up. 
and I look to the left and there's this whole section of cross stitch stuff. I'm talking patterns and crimp and specialty thread, care and watercolors. Um, now it's not a huge, she's got a lot of different items, but not a huge, like she didn't have all of the care and watercolors. She had a, a, like a, about 10 or 12 of them. Um, and like the pattern, she only had two racks. Um, but as I walk in, I'm like, oh great, this is not a good idea with Connor because I'm going to want to look and he's not going to do well. He's too, he's not going to enjoy this. And as soon as he walks through the door, he starts going, I want down, I want down. I'm like, Connor, you can't get down. There's too much stuff for you to get into. And about then this lady walks around the corner and she says, oh mom, I put him down. I'm childproof. And I said, oh, hi. And it was the owner. I found out it was the owner. Not only did she have toys to play for my son to play with in the store, she also got in the floor and played with my son and said, Mama, look, we're playing. We're having fun. You look at your stuff. So I was there probably about an hour while she played with my son. Um, I, I could see her. You know, like there was no, I didn't just, you know, leave my <laughs> child to this one. I didn't know I could see her and hear her. And I had so much fun when I checked out. So, I mean, it's such a small store that they only take cash and checks only. But when I left, um, I only got like twenty dollars worth of stuff. I did really well. I was talking to her clearance stuff, but she informed me that if she didn't have something that um, I wanted, that she could order it, and that if she couldn't order it, that she would find somebody that could for me. Um, they did have a lot of knitting stuff. She was already kind of trying to push me in the knitting realm. I just it seems way too daunting for me to knit. I just don't see myself doing it anytime soon. But I noticed they had a little table back there and there were like three or four women back there knitting up a storm and talking and telling jokes and talking about, you know, their the beverages they have, different beverage recipes, adult beverage recipes that they have. And um, actually there's somebody here in my town that I've kind of tentatively met through email and um, through Facebook who um, is going to talk to her because she uses that shop often and see if maybe we can plan some time to go there and stitch together. That way we're meeting in a public place and we're safe, that kind of thing. But um, anyway, I will show you the quick haul that I got. Um, not a whole lot of stuff, just some little things that were on sale. Um, I got this kit. It's made by something different. I've never heard of them. Um, this is the picture of the stitched item. Wow, I got really close, sorry. And I don't know that I'll ever do this pattern, but the kit was $4 and it's got a six and a quarter by six and a quarter piece of linen in there and I figured that the linen was worth it for itself and then the pattern I can modify or use for something else maybe who knows I may do the pattern later it is I mean it's a cute pattern just not I don't know not anything I see myself doing you know in the next line of things but I got it for the linen I figured that was four dollars is really good for a piece of linen I think I don't know I've ordered all mine offline so I've had to pay shipping so um the next is a mirabilia chart. I don't do mirabilia. I cannot say that. Mirabilia, mirabilia. <laughs> um, this one's called The Kiss. It's copyrighted. It looks like in 1995. Um, it is one that I got. Um, I hope to eventually maybe do a giveaway or something and maybe include this in the giveaway um, for $4. I couldn't really say no to it because um, I know that her chart or these charts are normally like you know sixteen seventeen dollars depending on where you get them so there you go that's the kiss and it's I mean it's the whole chart I opened it up and looked at the chart it's I was really impressed I figured they'd be part of it missing or something um her clinic I got some clinic of course I got my floss that I originally went in there for her floss it's a little more expensive it's like 70 cents but I will go there for my floss unless it's like late at night for some reason and I have to stop by her early in the morning or on a weekend because she's only open like, you know, Monday through Friday. But um, even though it's a little more, I'd rather the money go towards the local needle shop and pay a little more for the floss um, than pay a big box store and her get closed down and not have her store at all. But she did have her credit on sale for a dollar a spool. So I got just a couple of those, just some that I thought were pretty. They weren't all on sale. Certain ones were on sale. I think she had some overstock in them. But those were those. I got like a turquoise. It's number... Let's see. 029. And then number 019. It's like a black and silver. It's got a lot of black in it. I don't think you can tell on the, on the camera probably. But got those. And then I got this. I've never used this. I've never heard of this. But it looked different. It's a metallic... But it looks almost better made than the Krennic. It is kind of fraying some, but not like the Krennic does. It's called Balger, I believe. And this one's called Carnival, number 209C. 
It's made in France. Oh, and it's imported by Critic, so probably the same. Didn't realize that. See, don't think to read the fine print. But it's kind of a rainbowy black color. It reminds me of that nail polish when I was like in seventh grade that the color changed or heat sensitive, you know, the little pencils that you would get that you would hold and they would change from like a dark greenish color to different colors of the rainbow depending on the temperature and that's what it reminds me of. But I got that just to see how it's stitched. I don't know what I'll stitch with it, but just got it just in case, just to see. And I didn't want to leave only getting selling clearance items, so I did get a um, full price. This is um, Prairie Year Rounds, also from 1995. So see, a lot of her charts and stuff are kind of, I guess, old, um, which is fine. Um, like she said, she can order new ones. I don't mind looking through stuff. Um, she said that she did keep fabric on bolts, but she kept it in the back to wear because people would touch it. She said she got it dirty, so I don't know if she has a certain color or if she has all kinds of different colors. I didn't know by this time my son was ready to go. And I didn't want him to show out, you know, that way I could come back and, you know, her not be on over there. She comes with that kid again. But this is it. I didn't realize it was a year-round thing. I got it mainly for this um, star and moon and this celestial sun. I'm trying my best to convince my sister to try stitching. And she likes things like that. So I'm hoping I can persuade her. She'll go back and forth and says she wants to try and then she'll see me having to unpick something and she says, you know, you know, there's no way. But, um, that's really everything for now. And, um, thanks for watching. And remember, the name will change to Stitching May. I've got to remember it myself. Take care, guys.